All right, so welcome back to the 30 Days to Become a Lighting Ninja. I'm David Henry from LearnStageLighting.com, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about color. We're going to go deeper into color and, and how to use color to make change on our stage and, and how to really wrap this all together. So, so far, we've been talking about IFCB, Intensity, Focus, Color, and Beam, and how we can use those to make changes on our stage when we decide it's time for a change, whether it's between songs, a different portion of a song, um, anytime you need to make a change on stage, it, it really can help you creatively to, to lean on this like I do, to be able to say, okay, do I want to change intensity? Do I want to change focus? Do I want to change color? Or do I want to change beam? And, and which one have I changed lately? And, and then not use that one or use them all if you want to make a big change. And so this is just a really basic beginner's guide to it all, but I want to share it with you here so that, you know, you can really learn and, and really grow in your lighting. And so color is probably one of the most powerful tools that we have in our toolbox as lighting folk. Okay. I, I love color. I have so much fun with color and I, I really think it's the biggest tool, especially today when, you know, for a lot of applications, all of your fixtures are going to be able to mix colors. They're actually going to have color mixing, whether they're LEDs or moving lights with color mixing or at least color changing. You've got so many options of colors that you can use. And so when I'm using color, the first thing that I want to do is I want to decide, okay, is this simple or complex? Does the music feel like a more simple piece of music or does it feel very complex? Because for simple music, even it can be upbeat and simple. I want to use just a single color or or just a single color from the front, a single color from the back. So say I turn everything amber here, but then from the front, I choose blue. You know, maybe it's a slower song, but it's it's kind of simple. Um, and and that allows me to, to really paint the stage and give people a break from from overbearing colorness, you know, but keep things alive on stage. Also, the absence of color can uh, make things really interesting. So say I go in here and I turn some of my white lights to open to white. You know, maybe I'll go ahead and turn some different lights and I can switch between the two here. Actually, if I change my fade time here, I can go ahead and just really speed things up here. And I can change between colors, you know, quite quickly. Or if I really change it, I can go really quick. And so you can see here how going between having some color, all color, some white, can really make an impact on your stage. And, and so far, even I've really just kind of messed with one color uh, as front light and one as, as backlight. But say I go in here and I do a two color look, all right? You know, like this red blue. And, and another big tip I like to have when I'm laying things out, and we'll get more into this in the next few days, but with colors especially, you know, I'm going through a number of two color looks here. I like to lay out my console so that I have access to, to both color combinations. So this is green blue, but then I've got it the opposite way as well. And then if I bring up these uh, very bright blinder lights, you can see that they switch between the green blue as well. And so, you know, when you're when you're working with color and, and you want to make a change with color, you've really got a lot of options. And so you can overwhelm your audience if you're not careful. But again, it's another tool in this IFCB, just another great way that when you need to make a change in stage, when you want to make a change on stage for you to say, OK, I can go ahead and, and change my color you know, on some of my lights, on all of my lights, or maybe take everything to a single color. And that is going to then allow me to really make things look interesting to really help the show stay fresh. And so that's really the whole goal with this IFCB. And so if you, if you like so far um, what we've been doing here on the 30 days to become a lighting ninja, be sure to subscribe and then you'll get all of the videos delivered right to you here on YouTube. And 
last but not least, make sure to come back tomorrow because I'm going to be wrapping up this short little series. It's not even everything I can teach, but it's it's a little nugget. And I'm going to be wrapping this up where we're going to be talking about Beam. And so we're going to talk about Beam and uh, how we can use that in our lighting. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Thanks.